Hey there guys, this is GJ, or also known as Jim Day, and you have reached the Get Going Fast page, the page that is committed to helping you get going with this excellent AI hobby in quick and understandable manner. So we are going to look today at a quick, it's going to be a real quick video here on installing something that's called Triton, okay? Now I don't got no... Uh, uh, screenshots to show you because it's literally just an installation that goes into your virtual environment and helps you to install different apps. However, the issue being that it is native to um, Linux, okay? And so a lot of you guys trying to get this installed on Windows and you're pip installing and it ain't working, okay? But uh, don't you worry, I got your back here, okay? And we're going to get this going real easy for you today okay so that uh, you get it going all right so before we do that though please do like the channel subscribe share it just you know what just get your confidence up and go up to that girl you've been wanting to talk to and be like get going fast okay and she's going to be so impressed by your confidence that um you know she'll probably start brushing her hair like this and be like, what do you mean huh? and then you can tell her all about ai and she's going to go googly eyed i'm certain that's the way that that works okay so thank you for doing that um before we do go on i am kind of curious i've been playing with my backgrounds here uh and uh I've got this background here that I created. I, I like this a lot, but I kind of, you know, been sort of missing my um, my old one as well. Uh, this one, and I kind of like this a lot too, but I kind of like the other. What is your opinion? Which one of these is uh, is your favorite? I would like to uh, have your feedback on that. So, all right, with no further ado, let's get into this. This is gonna be like a five minute video and then we out like the gout, yo. Yeah. All right, so like I was saying, Triton is um, an installation's dependency. If you've been working with me at all in Python, we use the package installer that is affectionately known as PIP to install these things. And Triton is one of these requirements that often when we're working with a GitHub, it'll say, um, you know, install Triton, and then we get errors saying it didn't install. Okay, now the reason is because Triton is... Uh, native to Linux okay so it works within a Linux environment for you to use it in Windows you have to um, do stuff that's beyond me I don't actually really know but you have to create packages um, or they call them wheels WHL files that can work now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you where we can get a, um, a wheel a WHL file that's gonna work for version 2.1 of Triton so that we're gonna be able to get this installed into a lot of our apps uh, now sometimes you get an app that will ask for 2.2 2.1 should still work okay uh, how long it's gonna work I don't know but that's gonna be the real limitation here is as time goes by and you get into deeper versions of Triton you're gonna have to have individual um, wheels created for the different versions whereas when you're in Linux or your WSL you're just gonna have to pip install it and it's gonna of course go grab the newest one you want but we're gonna work with a individual file okay that uh, that works with 2.1 okay so let's just get this done really quick It's gonna be real easy to do so let's pop on over to the browser here and oh good lord where'd the browser go okay here we go so um i've got the link over here what we're going to do is go to my website www.cognibuild.ai okay you're going to pop over to here just click on the blog okay and you're going to notice there's one here installing triton on windows if in the future you come here and that's buried deep down there just go to the search bar type triton okay and it's going to bring it up okay Look, at, I got two of these that I did. Uh, oh, well, I might have doubled up on it. Well, whatever. So we're going to click on this thing. And notice here it's going to bring us up to this site. It says Triton is not native to Windows and so is more easily installed in Linux. However, there is a way to install a specific version by downloading the following file. So what we're going to do is we're just going to click on that. It's going to open up in a new window. Okay. And I actually look at the rest of the instructions. You're going to download the file, we're going to open our virtual environment, and then we're just going to pip install it, okay? But we're going to actually have to pip install the file, and then we get to rejoice because it is done, okay? So, uh, first thing, we just go over to here. All we got to do is uh, click 
on the download thing. It's going to ask you where you're going to download it. Download it into the folder that you're uh, working on your program with. Okay, so I'm just going to put it on the D drive for now, just because that's going to be an easy place for me to work uh, with it. So let's pop over to the command prompt here. Now we can get over to the command prompt. Boy, I guess I should have had this set up before. Okay, there we go. So now we go here. I'm going to go over to my D drive. And if I type DIR, and I'm going to put, that means a directory, and I'm going to put a star, which is a uh, wildcard. It means it doesn't matter what comes before it. And I'm going to put D WHL. So I'm going to say I want to see every file that ends with WHL. And you're going to see, look, at I have a fair one there. But I got this one, this Triton. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this, okay, just for later use. I'm going to hit Control-C. But now what I want to do is I need to put it in my virtual environment. So now when you're inside whatever app you're running, you're going to have a, a VNV file or maybe you've conda activated something. Um, you got to be in it. I'm going to create one really quick here just for us to use. Okay. Um, you wouldn't exactly use this like this. You would be using the virtual environment that comes with your app. So I'm not really going to explain too much about this. I'm going to assume that you already have one. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my virtual environment. Okay. Now you can see I'm in here. Okay. Now, if I type, if I type pip install and I go pip install uh, Triton, well, it, it isn't going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go pip install and then I'm going to paste in the file name, but I got to have the file in the same location as I'm doing this. Now I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's going to go ahead and go through all of this. Okay. And notice it went ahead and did it. Okay. That was the error from up there, but here was the pip install this. Now Triton is installed. The world can rejoice once again. You're done. Okay. You've got it installed. Okay. So we're going to end there, but really quickly, uh, you might be asking, well, what does tr Triton actually do? And why didn't you mention it at the beginning of the video? Well, those are both great questions, okay? But uh, only one of them is going to get answered. And the one that's going to answer answered is this. What does Triton do? It is essentially a, a mechanism that allows dependencies to work together. So you have different... Um, uh, mechanisms inside your apps that are that are working you know this guy's created this and this is with this and this hardware is working with this and you got all these different components that's the word I'm looking for and what Triton does is it helps those things to work more smoothly together it's a peacemaker and we all like blessed are the peacemakers okay so that is what Triton does and this is how you install it in Windows but again this is only 2.1 when it gets up to version 4.2 you're gonna need to have a different um, Triton WHL file to uh, to work with at this point but for now you're good you're golden you're great as always and we will catch you on the other side yo